What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about Maxine in this video here today. I'll mostly be going over what we know, teasing some stuff that you don't know uh, that I've had, I've been tipped off about and kind of recapping other things that have not officially been stated by the studios or anyone involved with the project, but it is online for you to see courtesy of an audition tape. So just to begin, Maxine we know is the upcoming presumed final chapter in Ty West's X trilogy. Ty West said this about the project when speaking to Bloody Disgusting last year. He said to round the whole thing out, Maxine as a sequel to X is fine. Maxine as part of a trilogy is infinitely more interesting. So that was part of the overall concept. I think what'll be fun in Maxine, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but what what's fun is it's an ev evolution of the character in the way that you met Pearl in X, but then you get to know a different side of her in Pearl. Yes, you have met Maxine, it is a continuation of Maxine, but she's at a very different point in her life. It's going to be an interesting thing to catch up to catch up with her when we do and see Mia Goth in yet another way. Well, we already know what the film is out film is about at this point because the film is going to be following Maxine. It's set years after the events of X, six years to be exact. Uh, as the sole survivor who continues her journey towards fame, setting out to make it as an actress in 19, 1980s Los Angeles. The film itself is set in again 1985, according to the teaser A24 dropped nearly a year ago, and some other plot details that are out there, again, that have not been announced by A24, but they're on, online for you, for you to see. I've actually touched on in the past. Some other plot details help us understand what year this is in. Uh, we don't have an official release date quite yet for Maxine, but I'm leaning on early 2024 because dropping it this year seems unlikely, although I wanted it this year. Mia Goth has also chimed in, of course, early this year talking about Maxine and other times, of course, throughout the year and past months, just hyping up the project. She had this to say about Maxine earlier this year when speaking with Collider. She said, it's just such a fun film. Ty really, I don't know how he does it. He's just able to come up with these worlds. It's just the biggest of the three movies. The stakes are the highest. And Maxine has been through so much at this point. At another point with Variety, Mac, or Mia also said that this is the best script of all the three. And I will say this before I even keep going. I do tend to think from what i know this is the best of the three i just have to see how it is executed now we know the cast of maxine includes mia goth herself of course returning as the titular character kevin bacon halsey lily collins john carlo esposito moses sumney elizabeth de becky bobby cannavale and others moses has actually called the film decadent intense and fun uh, just to dive into another aspect of the plot that has not yet again been announced by A24 or any crew members, but it's online for people to see. So we're entering possible spoiler territory here for anyone that wants to dip out. Halsey is starring in the film as a character named Tabby. This is known due to an audition tape over on Vimeo that shows us Maxine is still doing adult content and has made a friend named Tabby who is dying to go to this party, but she doesn't want to go alone and she's afraid of the Night Stalker. Now, the audition tape does not confirm that it's Halsey in the role, but again, I've done a video speculating on this could be Halsey in the past, but the steals that have been released showing Halsey being close to Max was enough to convince me, and then I was tipped off that that is exactly who Halsey is playing. She's playing a character named Tabby, who is a close friend to Maxine in the film. Now, this audition tape also sheds light on the film incorporating the Night Stalker craze, who was active during 1984, before he was stopped in 1985, I believe, and it's also incorporating since satanic paranoia. It's also revealing to us that Maxine has landed the role of a horror film. Now, here's a bit that's not in this audition tape, but apparently Maxine isn't just starring in a horror film. She's starring in a sequel to a horror film that has already come out before. Uh, the film is revolving around the murders in Hollywood while production, while, while production is occurring on this horror sequel. So we still have a slasher on our hands for anyone that was maybe having doubts about that. We still have a slasher on our hands. The killer is not the Night Stalker, but I presume they are capitalizing on the media's obsession with the Stalker to use him as a scape scapegoat while they target Max. Now, a few of you who follow my Twitter are aware that I've been given nuggets about Maxine. Those, nub those nuggets are basically the meat and potatoes of what's going on. Who lives, who dies, who the killer is, the motive, etc. So to piggyback on Mia's excitement for Maxine, 
Out of all the plots and nuggets for upcoming horror films I had sent to me, Maxine is the only one I'm excited to see play out on screen, and I hope the execution isn't atrocious because I love everything I've heard about this film so far. It does seem like the biggest. It does seem like it will have, honestly, the, the most set designs out of the three films, given the locations I've been told about and where certain things are occurring and how they play out in comparison to what we know is happening in Pearl and in X. This def definitely seems like the biggest. Um, I love the killer. I love the motive. It makes sense. And it has the potential to be shocking if you don't overanalyze everything. The kill sequences, again, they sound intense to me, and they're in line with the gore we've seen in the last two. For anyone that has seen those cemetery images of Halsey, I'll say this. The context of why and how her character ends up here is something I'm eager to see play out on screen. If you can't help yourself when it comes to overanalyzing the trailer whenever that eventually drops, because I have no timetable on when that drops, I've also not seen the trailer for Maxine, but if you cannot help yourself, I will say this. You have more than enough clues to figure out who the killer is. You have more than enough clues. I am not going to tell you who it is. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just telling you that I know a lot of people are going to be floored when the killer is revealed. I think a lot of people are going to examine this cast. They are going to overlook the small details. And that's why they'll be floored. And that's probably going to make this the best reveal of the year for a slasher movie. Not of the year, but at the time when it releases next year, depending on who is watching it, because some of you guys are very smart. You'll probably catch on. But I think that at a small glance from people viewing the cast, they're going to overlook the small details. That is your hint. Do not overlook those small details and pay attention to what has already come out if you want to do some analyzing. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.